to the second night of the Futuro Gang Colloquium. Uh, we're very glad to be here at uh, Punctum. We would also like to thank uh, the Creas Fund for making this possible. Uh, and the second night will continue largely in the same themes addressed yesterday with uh, our uh, guests. Um, the whole colloquium focuses on questions of futurity, um, imagination, futurism, uh, and the construction of nostalgia in the wider Central Eastern European region. So, uh, without further ado, I would like to um, welcome Adaptive, uh, who is Daniel Hitler and Janina Weissengruber. Um, after Adaptive will be a presentation by, Daniel, uh, by Dustin Breitling, and after that we will continue in the colloquium with, uh, with all the rest of our invited guests. Uh, for any information you would like to know about the featured speakers or about the colloquium, please visit progmicrofestival.com where uh, everything is nice and available. So without further ado, uh, Danielle and Janina. Well, thank you for the invitation. Is the is it? It's working now. Okay. Um, it's blinking. Well, I don't know what's happening, but is it too disturbing? It's super disturbing. Well, here it's not blink. Ah, okay, it's blinking. Wait, because we prepared a little game for you. And for this, you have to look under your chairs. <laughs> and please, if there is free chairs, please also look under the free ones, because we hit some cards. Uh, no, th this, is, this is something else. <laughs> but... Um, so uh, the idea, because we uh, our practice is very fluid and we do many different stuffs, we decided to let you choose what you want to hear about. So take your time, like one minute to read the card, the ones of you who found one. And if you are interested in hearing more about it, then we can talk about it. And we have uh, a website, a very nice uh, web developer, Mate Janke from Budapest, helped us to make a website, which you can also check out later. Um, but now we would kind of use it if the signal is not as disturbing as it was. It's still disturbing. It could be the, the cable now. But, I mean, we can also do it as disturbing. It could be part of the... So, did you find cards? <laughs> now we're, we're trying another case. Maybe meanwhile I can already um, start explaining a bit about what our collective is about in general. So um, basically it started two years ago. Um, uh, we did a reading group that Daniel already did before for a while and then I joined. And we did it in Vienna in a space called School organized by Andrea Lumpelecker and Jasmina Haddad who are both artists. And they're doing it for 10 years now, I think. And there we met uh, every second week to read texts. This will also be a part of the presentation later. And then we started doing conferences too, and yeah, various other projects that kind of yeah, emerged out of our work together. So it's working? It's on the screen.
Ah, okay. Now I get it. Now. Cool. So, who, wi which card did you find that you would like to see? Anyone? Oh, it's still blinking. Fuck. Anyone? Yeah, that's better. And we... I mean, somebody found something. <laughs> yeah, AU. You want to read it out? Yes, thank you. Yes, thank you. Okay, um, Xeno Futurity, Spectres, Anachrony, Conference, Rapture. The leitmotif of the conference is the vocal amalgam of the words rapture and rupture. The symposium took place on the 3rd and 4th of October 2020 in Vienna, with more than 20 theoreticians, artists, philosophers, and cultural workers from Eastern and Central Europe. Thank you. So, this part, rapture, was um, mainly where we met also, or we could uh, ca come to collaborate closely also with uh, Viet and um, Kayet and Scholt Miklas Vergi as, uh, as well, who were in the panel yesterday and are going to discuss with us also today. Um, in this part, we made this conference a, like boarding these three topics of Xenofuturities, um, Anachrony, and Spectres. So I think this is this was a very, like the first big project we did in this sense. It was totally meshed because of the, the COVID pandemic. So it was um, tried to get as many theories as we could to Vienna to introduce them in what we think is a major flaw in the artistic community, as well as the active um, community of uh, like contemporary theory. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, we postponed it two times, actually. It, it should have happened in the frame of the Hungaroo Futurist Project, um, in the frame of the Off Biennale, which was also postponed. Um, yeah, but still we did it, and it went pretty well. Maybe you can scroll a bit to the participants list so I can read who we invited. We had, for example, Mohamed Salemi, um, yeah, as already said, Kayet, Scholt, um, other people involved in similar projects like uh, Lucia or um, Contemporary Matters was uh, were our peers in, in Vienna and uh, Václav Janoschik and Boris Andrejka. Yeah. But ne next card. Uh, this is difficult. Yeah. Also, if you turn the card, you have the description so you can decide. Yeah. Adaptive workshops in September 2021. Adaptive organized three days of interactive work workshops at Nada Lokal in Vienna. These workshops provided a space of collective and practical experimentation as well as playful modes of connection for its participants. It was um, our first try to make an event in Vienna that is um, more based on trying to create something with a collective or with people together, not only consuming something like theory or books that we did in the reading groups, but also trying to create a story or like, um, yeah, speculations about objects. Yeah, you want to tell about your... Mm, no, just it, it was a... I tried to to um, experiment with these other notions of um, well building together, doing together, thinking together. Yeah, and th this is yeah a 
something that came out of it. Maybe next card, something more that interests you more. Yes. Uh, the adaptive reading group creates a space to foster critical thinking, collective acting, communicating, and discussing otherness. We meet to read together, discuss re recent interests, and sometimes have artists, curators, theorists, philosophers, etc., as guests. So, as Janina mentioned, this was like our start of. Um, reading together and doing together. Uh, it started in uh, this uh, sp feminist space called School in Vienna. This is the list of the text we have made. Actually, like last time, we took this um, publication by Wittes, Transmigrations. And the idea was also to involve the authors of this text to provide kind of like... Um, a platform which is more accessible for the readers and to make theory kind of easy to read. And our methodology was to read together there, like really all with our books and reading even like uh, line after line or um, different. Yeah, we felt that like for us, we really like this mode of, of learning together because it, you synchronize um, each other to, to the similar to a similar thought and yeah you can discuss anytime and it's a really nice way to to learn together yeah, because yeah it's super slow and yeah i think it makes a lot of sense also to come into talk with people and we learned so much people came up with new texts so we didn't always curate the text ourselves but um also the the people who came um did a big part in it i think yeah yeah now, at the beginning, we were trying to do it more like um, like we were preparing for the text, also mm, researching and um, kind of selecting very specific parts. But after a while, it became into this uh, super improvised, um, l yeah, evolving structure. And with the first book, the Sadie Plant series and ones, we figure out a way to mix the chapters together to make like a, a yeah a, a chronological mode of um, reading a book which was also a very nice experiment and this kind of stuff is very nice to do in a group and a bigger group and sorry for the <laughs> strobo i don't know how we're with time but we counted like five cards or something some other Landscape Reading Group. Adaptive was invented to host three reading group sessions or organized by the Academy of Fine Arts Vienna as accompanying program, program for the exhibition, The Use of Landscape. So as said, we were invited to, to do a reading group program for, for, um, for an exhibition. And um, this was a, a different approach, I would say, to the reading group because we really curated the text together with another um, friend of ours, with Carla Feldman. And um, we, we prepared um, paragraphs or chapters, so we didn't read a whole book, but we, we really tried to make a selection of texts that fitted um, the topic uh, of landscapes. Um, yeah, um, I think this is also, we, we love to play with words and with um, mixing words and trying to investigate these um, etymological instances. So we tried to do a, a, a dram dramaturgy through the sessions, which uh, we do in other projects as well. But in this case, we made the chapters of um, image E nation, which could also be image I nation, interventions, which is invention, and inversion, which is inversion and the inversion. So this is, I think, a good example of um, like a linear progressive method that we try to um, 
present the same topic under different lenses, trying to include as many perspectives as possible to uh, present different versions of, of the thing. And even the topic of version was a thing, the topic of nation is a thing which is not explicit, but still implicit in different texts and, and conversations. You can uh, check out the readers uh, also in the website and you can download them actually. I think it's worth it because they're really nice. Here, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think this is also a big um, part, like doing these readings and compilations of texts and compilations of um, information that we like in a designed way so that it's more appealing, more delicious for people to consume. I mean, it's terrible, but yeah, at the end, it's about it. I mean, reading is like eating. <laughs> so someone else has a card? Yeah? It's a lot of big words in this one. <coughs> it took place in the frame of the often now in Budapest in April 2021. The one day symposium was connected to the Hunger of Futurist project. <laughs> well, well uh, the often now and hosted con uh, contemporary art professionals for, for, for and researchers to examine alternative future visions, concepts, and phenomena. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> the second edition of the rapture rupture conference um yeah it's a terrible word that we invented here like rupture it's always terrible to sp to spell it um but um we found it interesting to open up this notion of rupture to the notion of rapture if if you know what rapture is it's like the the christian idea that you would you would be taken to heaven uh, at some point, or uh, your peoples would be taken to heaven at some point. So to play with this, um, yeah, um, space of of uh, meaning. Um, do we have? No, it's a pity because I found a glitch in the website. I mean, not a glitch, but a fault. Like this is supposed to be the second um, part, but we will update it. Like the web page was is ready like. 10 minutes or something, it was a hustle. Um, but anyhow, in this second version, we, we totally learned from the first one, and uh, there we really were in Budapest also, with the help of, of Scholt um, as a moderator as well, and uh, with Balin Sabo, and um, with another more located focus on, um, well, the Metabolic Museum of Clementine de Lis, and other other things. Amanda Pino is also there. Um, yeah, it's difficult to do without the slides. Um, and <laughs> any any other one wants to come to the stage? Yeah, but I don't know how we are with time. Maybe this is or or any anyone you like. <laughs> I mean, it's very, it's very uh, difficult to choose. Yeah? I don't know, like, um, maybe, maybe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, the website is online, so you can also check it out later. There is, I think, three more or something. Yeah, maybe just on behalf of the next panel, which is about um, publications and pu publishing houses, we had also a try and uh, where we also public stuff, uh, pu published stuff, and we didn't really print it out yet. Uh, we're still on it, but it's also an example that we are trying to make also more concrete output in compiling text and having um, like an amalgam of different well, approaches to to art and theory and right. something more um, funny. We're very much about fun and including people. 
but that's what we do and that's what we like, I think. And I think we can end with this. Thanks.